Hey YouTubers, today we'll be reviewing the Harbor Freight 15 foot drill powered drain auger and drain cleaner. I purchased this about a week ago for about 12 bucks from a local Harbor Freight. I said I'll try to give it a shot, you know. I'd rather do this versus going to find a plumber, spend about three, four hundred dollars to get a plumber out here to fix this clog. So I'll be showing you guys what the clog looks like. So, it's your basic uh, drain auger. Got your uh, quarter inch drill chuck here. You can connect any drill that will accept this chuck. You can also use this drain auger manually just by turning the handle here. All of the instructions are right here on the drain auger at the front. So if you guys can see that, I'll try to make the camera clear for you. So it clears clogs in baths, tubs, basins, showers, and toilets. Works with a power drill or by hand. Of course, it's a quarter inch drill shank. It's a 15 foot cable and a recommended maximum RPMs for the drills around 200 RPMs here. It has a little illustration just for you to follow. Really not much detail, but hey, that's what YouTube is for, right? <laughs> also has a lock mechanism. Once we feed that 15 foot cable down to where the clog is, we'll tighten this back up. We'll take that plastic piece off also, I forgot to mention. And then your regular operating instructions are right here. So we'll be following these pretty verbatim. It's pretty much just we're going to attach, attach the drill to the quarter inch chuck. We're not using this manually. We're actually going to use a drill so it'll be much faster. Um... I think this is the trap here, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody get in the comments and let us know if this is a trap or not. I don't know what they mean by trap. So we're going to loosen the thumb screw and feed the cable down to the block. And we're going to tighten the thumb screw back in place. And we're going to turn the drill on slowly at first. And we're going to try to feed this down, see if we can't get this clog out. You guys give me a second I'll show you what the clog looks like oh forgot to mention we'll be right back in just a second so I want to show you guys the drill that I'll be using so here's the drill that we'll be using today for our project I'll be connecting this to our drain auger this is a pretty simple drill. I spent about 20 bucks on this from Walmart. You guys go to Walmart, you'll recognize this brand and this drill. You can find it in the tool aisle at Walmart. So this has been a pretty good drill for me. And, uh, I think it'll get the job done for us. Maybe I'll make a video on this drill at some point in time also. It's pretty great and inexpensive. I think I spent about 20 bucks on it. I didn't mention that before. So all in, we'll be all in for about $32 for this project. And uh, the good thing is we can use these tools over and over and over and over and over again. So they'll pay for themselves. Better than calling a plumber and spending three, four, five hundred dollars an hour. No disrespect to plumbers, because you guys are important. But I don't think I'll need you this time. So I'll be right back to show you what our blockage looks like in the bathroom. I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, so basically when I connect this drill to this auger, this is what it looks like here. 
nothing fancy. Just a drill and an auger. It's pretty heavy, but uh, it's manageable. So let's go and look at this drain, this, this clog in this toilet. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are at the scene of the crime, so to say. So my daughter, she's four years old, I love her to death, <laughs> but she decided to stick an entire jumbo size roll of toilet paper right in the toilet. And to try to hide it, she tried to flush it down the toilet, not realizing that it would clog up. She's not supposed to stick that much toilet paper anywhere. Let alone, let alone a toilet. So, just for reference, and excuse that black stuff, I don't know what that is. You guys can use your imagination. We'll be cleaning that out later, but for now, just bear with me. So, here's the toilet roll. It's pretty big, huh? Let's try to stick all of that in the toilet. What a shame. So of course when I came home she tried to deny it but I know she did it. So this is what we got. When I saw it it looked like this. Man, I tried plunger in this thing, plunger, 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 for about 20 minutes straight. I was like, man, you know what? There's gotta be a better way. And that takes about 25 minutes for that water to go back down if you don't touch it. But uh, as you can see, my little plunger has had So let's uh, go ahead and set up for this augury. All right, gang. So I'm gonna take this auger and attempt to clear this blockage. So we're gonna do because I only have one hand. I'm at the Go through this in steps. Just bear with me. All right, gang. Now the time has come to try to clear this blockage. So, since I only have one hand, one for the camera and one for the drill, I'm going to have to stop and uh, do this in steps. So, bear with me. All right, guys. So, the next step. After removing that plastic piece at the top, it's going to be to loosen the lock and feed the cable down into the blockage until we reach the blockage. It should be pretty evident when you feed the cable in. You'll know when you hit it. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so something interesting just happened. <laughs> so when I was uh, unloosening that lock there, See here, almost the entire spool of cable shot out. So be careful when you do that. Make sure it's not facing you in the face or anything, because it will, since it's spring loaded in there, it will, or coiled up, it may shoot out and hit you, or hit something else, or hit somebody. So just be mindful when you're unloosening that chuck there, or that lock, excuse me. So what I'm going to do now is attempt to feed this down into the blockage in the toilet. So here we go. Okay, so it appears that my blockage is maybe about a foot 
from the entrance of the toilet drain here and uh, went ahead and fed it in there so now what I'm going to do is feed most of this back into the toilet well into the drain auger here and uh, and I'm going to lock this lock here and we're going to try to use the drill so just bear with me the cable down into the blockage the drill is connected to the auger and the the cable is locked in place. I have the cable pulled back up into the auger here. And now we're going to start the process of attempting to clear the drain. So here we go. I'm going to go slow at first while I'm pushing up and down in an up and down motion. I'm going to have to use two hands to do this. Look at that. Perfect. Couldn't have done it any better. Kind of interesting how that the end of that auger cable snagged onto that. Oh, look at that. So who? There's actually a piece of plastic I just pulled out. So it wasn't. So not only was there a roll of toilet paper in there, there's some kind of plastic here while going fishing in my bathroom. So I have something. So I'll be having a conversation with my daughter about whatever the hell this is. But uh, I'm gonna get this toilet cleaned up and everything back pretty. And uh, I'm gonna clean this auger. Oh yeah, make sure you clean your auger, man. Cause if you don't, it's gonna be rusted if you have particles and you know what I mean by particles if you have particles on it you don't want that up in there because that can lead to bacteria and mold and all of that nasty stuff so uh, make sure you clean your auger the best way to go about doing that you can follow the directions that are printed right on the auger it tells you how to clean them but essentially what you want to do is get some kind of uh, Household cleaner, whatever whatever household cleaner you like, some bleach, some soap or something, and uh, just go through and pull the cable out and maybe dip that, dip the cable into that solution, maybe a bucket of water or something, and just clean it. Use common sense. It's nothing special. And then let it air dry with the cable sticking out until it's dry and then you can push the cable back in there and lock it but uh that's all i got for you guys it's been a journey i appreciate you sticking around with me it's one of my first youtube videos so i'm sorry if the quality isn't professional enough but uh we'll get there eventually all right you guys have a great day